What is going on everybody? My name is Phil. This is my chaser. You're on the inside because the weather is miserable. But if you've seen Sammet's video, then you remember there is a couple of creaks and squeaks and such that are just annoying, like the clutch. So today we're gonna to start fixing things. So let's get started. All right, so we're at the shop now. It's a self-help shop, so even though it's got a lift and all the professional tools, I'm, I'm the one that's doing all the work. So let's pull the clutch pedal out. All right, so this is uh, obviously the clutch pedal assembly. So what this is, this is called the over-centering adjustment spring, and in my case, it's squeaking. So if you look at it, you just have two pieces of plastic with a spring in between, it looks a lot like a valve spring, and there's tension on this, so when you open it up, make sure that you can catch it. And the spring will come right out like that and fall out of the screen. So this is just a spring. This obviously can't squeak because it's just a spring. So you have these two pieces of plastic and uh, they obviously... You hear that? As soon as you have tension on it, that's what I'm hearing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these pieces of plastic off with these snap ring pliers or these uh, retaining rings and uh, lube everything up nice and good, slam it back together, should be good to go. So here we have this, and it's just one pin that's independent that can come out, and one that's solidly mounted to the pedal, pedal bushing, or to the pedal itself. And you have to do this with the pedal out of the car because the uh, rings have to come off towards the interior of the car, not towards the brake pedal, because it's mounted like this, and the brake pedal is right here. So you don't have, you don't have any chance of getting these out. Um, another thing that could be squeaking is if you look, there's a bushing in here. So we're gonna grease that up. But really there's nothing, there's no reason why it should be squeaking, so this is fixable. So let's get with it. So now with all this clean, we just gotta re-grease it, set it back together. Why is it still squeaking? Unless it's the pushing up here. And the verdict is, this is full of denim grease. This is for axle shafts. Put this in here backwards. Oh, hi there. That works. Alright, here we go. While lifting grease didn't work, however, the shop I'm at, they have some CV joint grease. They call it Molly grease, which is what it is. Um, doesn't really have a strong smell to it, so I was okay with putting it in the interior of the car. But uh, no more squeak. And you can tell it's greased up real good, but not too much because it's going to collect dust and you don't want that. So let's snap it back in.
All right. So on the driver's side, I just pulled out this spacer in the front, which is 20 mil. And then this spacer in the rear, which is 25 mil, plus this one, which is another, I think it's five. Yeah, five mil. So somebody in their infinite wisdom actually double stacked a 25 and a five together to make a 30 mil spacer, which is ridiculous. Um, Obviously the car rode terrible, <laughs> very terrible, um, which that has more to do with the coilover than anything else, but still, it's uh, it's probably not safe, let's go with that. So that's just one side, so I just pulled out all the spaces and it's still flush, but now I can actually have suspension travel, which is going to be nice. Let's get to the other side, and uh, matter of fact, I'll bring you guys around and show you what I mean. Here's one spacer, and then right behind it is the other one. So let me grab the impact gun, I'll take it all off, you'll see it. 25 mil, and a five mil. And they're different spacers. I'm gonna look at it. They're actually different spacers. It's ridiculous. All right, let's recap. We took off uh, the clutch pedal, which is actually only three bolts, or it's one bolt, two nuts. There's a bolt just above the clutch pedal on the inside um, that actually bolts it into the, the chassis of the car, into the cross tube right there. It's a 12 mil, really easy to get to. It's a little complicated because you have to get underneath the steering wheel, but it's really easy to get to once you're underneath it. Just go in there backwards, like, it's really, I'm sure you saw me, it's awkward. The other two are on the clutch master cylinder. Just take those two nuts off. The top one, super easy. Again, 12 mil. The bottom one, not hard. And the best trick I can tell you to do is uh, to take your 12 mil right here and uh, you stick a piece of paper on it. You realize you actually grabbed the wrong socket for this nut to demonstrate, because that's awesome. So you take a piece of paper and you stick it in your socket, and now you can feed the bolt in without having to worry about the socket coming out. A little handy trick. So I ended up using, uh, I tried using white lithium grease, didn't work, still squeaked. Uh, luckily the shop I'm at had uh, some CV boot grease, it's uh, molly based grease. And uh, I recleaned everything and went over and just put a little bit on there. And but I got it, I got it everywhere. It's not a lot, you don't need much, but I got it everywhere as to avoid the smell. It's not a bad smell, but it's a, it's it is distinct, so I didn't want it to smell. Uh, I reassembled everything, greased everything, slapped it together, and uh, put it back in. Now, when you put it back in, it's important that the clutch fork that comes in from the, the, from the outside from this uh, the massive cylinder. You don't want to tighten everything down before you make sure that's around the pedal. Otherwise, you have to take it partially back apart to put it over that. So, a little food for thought. Otherwise, not a bad job. It took about 45 minutes. I had to do it twice because the white lithium grease just didn't work. So, let's set this baby down. See what it looks like on the ground with all the spacers removed. It almost looks normal. All right guys, so today was the first video about my chaser and my journey in fixing it up and starting to drift it. It was a pretty simple video, just fixing clutch pedal squeak, which was just super annoying, but it was a free fix, which is the best kind of fix. We also pulled the spacers out to give us some actual suspension travel. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna see about 
maybe even raising the car about a quarter inch or so and uh, adjusting everything to make it proper. So, right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.